Greetings, citizens of the internet. This is Rendog coming at you from a boat in Minecraft, and we are heading down this river um, that we found in the previous episode. In the previous episode, we found an NPC uh, village. We we may have we may or may not have murdered the NPCs. If you haven't seen the video, go back and watch it now before you continue this. Pause and go watch. Pause now and go watch. But um, <laughs> in this episode, we are carrying on down this river and just sort of exploring whatever we find um, along the way and it looks like I've found a little cave here which is sweet um, so I, th I just wanted to quickly come and have a look in here you never you never do know what's gonna happen guys and um, for those of you who have just joined us maybe you're n uh, new subscribers and um, haven't watched the previous videos we are currently on an epic adventure we've left um, our old home behind and we ha have traveled across the sea to another continent and we are exploring this continent right now. This is a really sweet ass cave that I'm going to explore at some point. But for now, we are heading down this river um, on this boat. And I don't know what we're looking for. We're just looking for something sweet. And um, the sun's going to go down pretty soon, um, which, which means that, you know, we're either going to have to find a cave to explore until daylight returns, or we're going to have to build a, a, new, a new house or something. But I have to tell you, we are coming pretty far, but what is sweet about traveling on this river is that to get back to my original location, or, um, all I've got to do is follow this river, right? Um, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. What we have left behind, however, is a giant freaking cave, and when I say giant, I mean giant. It is huge. Um, so I'm looking forward to going back to that to find some diamonds, but you know, this river is just, it's just so tempting just to travel as far down this river as possible just to see where it takes us you know I mean who knows where we're gonna get to um, and so f is, is this the end is this the end of the river it does not look like it whoa damn it ooh mini pads I'll have those don't know what they do but they look pretty sweet okay so um, let's make another pillar over here. I think that it is about to be nighttime or, or nighttime very soon anyway. Um, it looks like we've found some sort of a marsh um, biome. And it also looks like there's a cave over there. So I want to go check that cave out. Oh man, this has been a crazy adventure, man. I'm so, I am terrified of dying. I'm, I'm so far away from my original spawn. I'm so miles away from the mole hole guys but we you know this is what we came here for man we came here to find epic loots and that is exactly what we're going to do and we came here to find diamonds we came here to find irons gold hidden caverns and passages and you know this is this is our goal and this is why we went on this adventure and i'm going to freaking fulfill this goal as long as we don't die that is that is the most important thing um ow Because dying is going to be not cool. Dying is going to actually make me incredibly sad. And, all, you know, dying, dying equals rage quit. <laughs> rage quit Minecraft and rage quit life. <laughs> hey, you bastard. I'm talking to you. Yes, I'm talking to you. Eat my sword. Whoa. Okay, so this comes out over here. We definitely don't want to be heading in that direction. So I'm thinking that um, maybe we should just we should head downwards, try and find some diamonds. Um, this looks like a good place to head downwards. I think what I'm going to do is build um, just a little indicator. Go that way. Right, so... Torches always on the right. Man, I was thinking about this game um, the other day, and it just makes me—I don't know. Just there's so many there's so many moments in this game that reminds me of things from life. I know that probably sounds quite sad, but it's true. Like um, it reminds me a lot, especially the 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 heights part about of this game. You know the whoa. You're, you're, you know, you're always teetering on the edge of death. You're always sort of hanging on um, 
to the edge of cliffs. You know, there's giant freaking cliffs and lava waterfalls that you could fall down at any time. And um, I remember once when I was about, oh, I must have been about nine. And we were at the beach. I was at the beach with my brother. Our family had a house right on the sea in South Africa in a really beautiful place called Plettenberg Bay. You guys can check it out on the internet if you want to. It's really, really nice there. But anyway, we were, we were just chilling, walking along um, the beach. And we used to go on, on a walk that, that it took about three hours to walk. Um, and it would eventually end on a whole bunch of rocks, sort of sea rocks jutting into the ocean. And um, we used to walk along the top of those rocks to get to this cafe that was at the end of the, end of the rock so that we could get some ice cream. And um, ow! And this cafe was also um, on the main beach where all the hot girls used to used to um, sort of skinny dip. It. Well, not skinny dip, but you know they used to um, used to bathe themselves there. And um, man, it was a sweet place to hang out and just look at some beautiful babes. Um, and anyway, I remember I was walking along that cliff once with my brother. Hello. And um, and I guess I, I stopped watching where I was going. And I, I, I guess I wasn't holding shift. <laughs> and I actually fell down one of the cliffs. Um, and I probably fell about two stories or so straight down. And um, I mean, when I say straight down, it was, I mean, towards, you know, the sea, basically. Um, the, the cliffs were very, very straight up. They were, they were high. They were jagged. They were covered in spikes and, and, and rocks and stuff. And it was pretty scary stuff. And, and I remember as I was falling, I thought that I was going to die because, um, I don't know, when you fall that far, it takes quite a long time for the fall to actually happen. Um, even though it's not that high, I think your, your, your brain goes into sort of slow motion mode to try and... Um, to try and it's, it's like a, a natural reaction to try and deal with the situation your brain starts what I, I think it processes what's happening in hyper speed is what happens um, and that's why everything seems like it's in slow motion um, by the way I'm, I'm just making like a little stairway here so I know how to how to get out but anyway um, I fell down and I and and I remember looking I remember looking down hello piggy and I remember thinking, well, this is it. I'm, I'm going to land on a spiky rock and, and die. Or something terrible is going to happen to me. Um, there's an Enderman in here. Or what looks like an Enderman. Yes. We have to unsummon the bastard. <laughs> this Enderman sounds are, are really crazy. But anyway. Um, and But what happened was I fell, I, I fell and I started falling. And somehow by some very lucky chance there was a little um, piece of rock jutting out of the side and I landed on that rock somehow I mean it was it was pretty miraculous um, to say the least um, I mean I don't believe in any of that stuff but um, it, it was pretty amazing that I didn't I didn't bite the dust that day and I, I remember that my brother we were talking about um, red alert 2 or, 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 or red alert 1 I can't remember at the time and he, he was walking in front of me and he was just he just carried on talking. He didn't realize that I'd f Oh an abandoned mine shaft. Oh man, sweet. Um sorry guys. <laughs> I need to finish this story. And um he didn't actually realize that I'd fallen and um he carried on walking along the river and um he only realized much sort of later on that I had fallen. Um and somehow I didn't break anything. I was totally fine and um it was it was pretty crazy. It was a pretty crazy experience. And when I fall down ravines in Minecraft, I have to admit that it, it, it's a similar feeling. It brings back the same, that same feeling of vertigo as I was plummeting down that cliff. Um, but of course, in real life, you can't, <laughs> you don't respawn. You just get, you just get pwned. <laughs> um, you, you, gravity's a bitch, man. Gravity will pwn your ass. Um, but anyway, guys, <laughs> that's, that was just one example of how this game reminds me of life. Um, it's, it's quite interesting. Now, this is a freaking abandoned mineshaft, guys. Let's get back to the action. Um, and in the, pre in the previous mineshaft that we found, we didn't really find any loots. And if you haven't seen that episode, guys, go and watch it. For crying in a bucket. You're missing a whole bunch of awesome stuffs if you don't go and watch that uh, episode. But, oh, is that a chest? That is a chest. Oh my goodness, guys. This is crazy. 
We have found a chest. So he was guarding this chest, actually. That bastard. Dear Lord, this is the first chest that I found in a cave. May it be sweet. Kablam! Um, melon seeds? Melon seeds. I'm guessing that melon seeds are, 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 are rare, right, guys? Right, right. I just found a rare item, right? Make me happy and tell me that I just found a rare item. I think I did. I think I just found a rare item. It feels like I just found a rare item. Sweet! Man, that is awesome. Whew! Damn! Right, um, let, let's deal with this lava. Huh? Huh? Alright, let's, let, let's try block it off then, instead. Can you block it off? No. Hey, lava! Die, you bastard! Thank you. Jeez. Some lava just won't freaking take the, the hint. Die. Oops. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Guys, I can't believe we just found some melon seeds, man. That is awesome. I have, a, I have no idea what that does, but I'm definitely going to be farming these melon seeds. Um... And making more melons. I mean, how many uh, how many melon seeds do I need to make more melons? Is that a is that are those the eyes of a freaking Enderman? I see. Oh man, this is sweet. Oh my goodness, what is going on? This is ridiculous. Okay, wait, guys, I can't go. I can't go further. I, I need to make. I need. To, whoa, is that another chest? Is that another chest? It's a creep spawner. We found a freaking mob spawner, people. I'm guessing that I gotta cover it in, f in freaking torches. Oh my goodness, this is amazing. This has been an absolutely insane mission. And there's two more chests. What did we get in these chests? Redstone, a bucket, bread. I'm down with that. Irons. Man, I've got too much stuff. We found we found a mob spawner, guys. This is awesome. But now, how, how am I? Let's a saddle. More buckets, man. That 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 is that is just way too many buckets. I'm afraid. Well, we're definitely taking the saddle. I mean, you can never you never can have too many buckets. Let's face it. Guys, this is epic. I found a freaking... I found a mob spawner. I've never seen one of these in my life. How do you collect this? What? Is this water falling out of here? I've never seen that before. That is awesome. Oh my god, guys. This has been an insane mission. I don't know what to do with this mob spawner. I'm going to leave this up to you guys. Please tell me what I should do with this mob spawner. How do I collect it? What do I do with it? Um, you know, help me. I don't even know how I'm going to get back here, man. The only way I can get back here from the mole hole is taking that boat ride all the way back. But, um, I'm happy to do that, and I will do that. But, you know, this is crazy. The, 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 this, this mine has been absolutely insanely lucrative. Man, I'm so glad I came to this continent. It just seems like so much better than my original continent. But still no diamonds, though. I mean, I haven't, I haven't had diamonds in a long, long time. Let's be honest. We are, we are on a bit of a diamond um, drought at the moment. I also feel like perhaps we are getting lost. <laughs> I mean, what is, what is this up here? Is there, is there even more? Oh my goodness, guys. This is crazy, man. This is completely insane. Alright, let, 
let's carry on exploring um, let's carry on exploring this mine shaft. We also have to make sure that we can get back. So I'm gonna try and find the entrance to um, this mine shaft. Guys, this has been Ren Dog playing Minecraft Survival. And if you have any comments for me, please do leave it in the comment sections below. Guys, tell me how am I what should I do with this new mob spawner that I found? And um, if you enjoyed this episode and if you're enjoying the series, please give me a like, guys. It really means a lot. And um, I need to make sure that I know exactly where this mob spawner is. It is over here where all the torches are. <laughs> and guys, of course, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe and tell all your friends about this awesome channel and about this awesome adventure that we're going on, guys. We, This is awesome, man. It's like the series is, we're on, what, episode 22 and the series hasn't even started yet. We have got so much more to do, guys, and I cannot wait to do this with you. Um, and thank you again for watching. We will see you in the next freaking episode. Goodbye. <laughs>